The turmoil engulfing Red Bull and its F1 team leader, Christian Horner, has escalated into a crisis, thrust into the spotlight by extraordinary tensions within the team, laid bare by Joss, Max Verstappen's father. Despite a triumphant F1 season opener first and second race of 2024 dominated by Red Bull, clinching a 1-2 victory with Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez, the euphoria on the track contrasts sharply with the unfolding nightmare off it. Initially hoping to put an end to allegations surrounding Horner's conduct towards a female staff member, the parent company's dismissal of the grievance on the eve of the new season instead sparked a chain reaction. The situation reached new heights with Joss Verstappen's startling warning that Red Bull Racing is on the brink of implosion if Horner remains at the helm. A series of remarkable events unfolded on Wednesday, leading up to the Bahrain Grand Prix. Red Bull's parent company decided to retain Horner as the team principal and CEO after concluding the investigation into the conduct allegations. However, the lack of transparency and disclosure raised concerns among some, prompting calls for more information. Approximately 24 hours after this apparent resolution, a dossier of 79 files, implying evidence from the investigation, was leaked to over 100 F1 personnel, including key figures like F1 CEO Stefano Domenicali, FIA President Mohammed Ben Sulaim, rival team bosses, and members of the media. This leak, widely perceived as an intentional destabilization tactic, kept the controversy alive. On race day, Horner, joined by his wife, Jerry, demonstrated a deliberate show of support, interpreted by some as a statement of defiance. In media sessions, Horner refrained from commenting on the leak, describing it as anonymous speculative messages from an unknown source. Despite the flawless performance on the track, questions about the leak persisted, and Horner asserted his belief in leading the team for the entire season. Joss Verstappen comments, however, introduced a new layer of uncertainty, stating that Red Bull Racing is in an untenable situation, warning of an impending implosion if Horner retains his position. This not only intensifies the pressure on Horner but indirectly calls for his departure. The lead-up to the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix is now poised to be dominated by this ongoing saga, contrary to Red Bull's desire for closure. In subsequent interviews with media outlets, Joss Verstappen underscored the detrimental impact of Horner's leadership on the team, suggesting that it is driving people apart and creating tension. This puts Red Bull Racing in a precarious position, and the fallout from these statements is likely to linger, affecting team dynamics and focus. The controversy has given rise to speculations about internal conflicts within Red Bull. The divide is speculated to involve factions supporting Horner, including the Idia family that owns 51% of Red Bull's parent company, and those aligned with Red Bull executive Oliver Mintel, believed to be associated with the Ververstappen camp. The situation is described as a civil war behind the scenes at Red Bull, with potential repercussions on the team's future direction. As the tension continues to mount, the script concludes with questions about Red Bull's response, the possibility of further actions against Horner, and the impact on the team's partners, F1, and rival teams. The live and volatile situation suggests that riding out the scrutiny without further challenges to Horner's leadership may prove impossible. The controversy, far from ending with the investigation, now threatens to unfold in a destructive manner, potentially altering the course of Red Bull Racing's F1 journey. Christian Horner will stay until the end of the season despite causing so much disruption to Red Bull, predicts Max Verstappen's father Joss, as the ongoing texting scandal continues to rock F1. Verstappen's father had a heated argument with Horner, who was cleared of wrongdoing by an independent investigation, last week and has said that the Red Bull team principal should not continue in his role as he is proving a distraction for the team his son, Max, the reigning world champion who starts Saturday's Saudi Arabian Grand Prix on pole. Meanwhile Verstappen has sensationally threatened to quit Red Bull if Helmut Marko, who is at risk of suspension, is forced out of the team. In another twist to the saga engulfing F1's most dominant team, long-term motorsport advisor Marko could be suspended, according to reports. Three-time world champion Verstappen, mere minutes after taking pole in Jeddah, insisted his future at the team could depend on Marko's position. Sky Sports F1 pundit Martin Brundle has admitted he feels like the Christian Horner saga is at the beginning of the story, rather than the end, as it drags on into the new season. Horner was cleared of wrongdoing by an internal investigation into allegations of inappropriate behaviour by the Red Bull team principal, but the story is still captivating the paddock. While the investigation cleared Horner of any wrongdoing and he has continued on in his role as team boss at the World Champions, the story has moved on further 
with an anonymous source delivering alleged WhatsApp messages from Horner to around 150 F1-related personnel, including team principals and bosses. Horner vehemently denies the accusations against him, and said in a statement on Thursday that he would not comment on what he called anonymous speculation regarding the supposed messages. Now, Brundle has been assessing the impact that the situation regarding Horner and Red Bull is having on the sport of F1. I think it's unquestionable that it's not good for Formula One with what's going and I do believe that some actions need to be taken to move this along and to bring this to an absolute conclusion, he told Sky Sports after Saudi Arabian Q3. But as I said earlier on in the week, it feels to me like it's the beginning of the story rather than the end of it, but we'll have to wait and see but we do know that all allegations have been denied. It's just a horrible situation, isn't it? Whichever way you look at it. In conclusion, Martin Brundle's warning adds a layer of intrigue to the ongoing Christian Horner saga. Stay tuned for the latest updates, reactions, and expert insights as we continue to unravel the mysteries of this captivating F1 narrative. If you're as captivated by the unfolding story as we are, don't forget to subscribe and comment down below for more exclusive F1 content. Thanks for joining us, and until next time, see you on the next video.